Hello and welcome to another video and another subscription box unboxing. I am so excited. I am so excited. I got this yesterday in the mail. I don't know how I waited until today to open it up because this theme excites me so much. First off, it is the Wizarding Trunk box, the quarterly box. And if you can't tell, yes, I switched out my background again. I have got you know, a particular character themed right here. Can you tell who it might be with the lantern? And Fang, and Aragog, and Buckbeak. And we've got some, you know, motorbike goggles. Like, I don't know, who could it be? But Hagrid himself, because the theme of this box is the Keeper of Keys. Well, actually it's called the Keeper of Keys and Magical Beast. Like just one beast, I guess. <laughs> just one beast in here. But we know he takes care of loads of beasts. And that's what excites me about this box. So let me first show you this box and then I will kind of get into what I'm hoping of it. I'm so excited. Okay, so here is the box from the top here. It is very different from previous boxes. And yet at the same time, I wouldn't say it screams Hagrid specifically. So we do have like dragons on the front here. It says high security vault. The wizarding trunk presents high security vault. So we have dragons over here. Um, fragile magical delivery on the side. So it looks like, now you tell me in the comments below, there's the side there. It is feeling like we couldn't, my husband and I were looking this up to recall the box that Hagrid had Aragog in. It looks like that might be what they're trying to do here, but I don't know if this is gonna be the look going forward um, because otherwise there's not really anything specific, but it does kind of feel like it could be that. Um, let me see, is there anything under here? Nope, quarterly special edition, it says there. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I love Hagrid, if you all don't know. I am an animal gal, I love me some animals, I love some creatures, um, and so what I'm looking forward to in this box or what I'm hoping in this box, um, first of all, to be amazing, okay? I mean, it's Hagrid, he is one of the best characters, one of the most lovable characters ever. I was trying to think, like, what would I want? Okay, Keeper of Keys. Like, they normally do a key. I would love a key to Hagrid's Hut. Love, 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 love. And I'm not a huge fan of the keys done by subscription boxes. The other thing I haven't seen a subscription box do, also comment down below if you have, are the mitts, the oven mitts, <laughs> the little mittens that, um, that Hagrid wears in his hut. Like, I would love that. I would use those for sure. Um, and I'll say, like, it's a touch, not, I mean, there's a weight to it, but it's a touch lighter than the bi-monthly was. So, I mean, for a big guy, like I was, I was expecting more, but he's also really soft at heart, you know? So maybe that's why it's, oh, I'm just putting it off. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna give you a little peek inside. What are we singing? Because the last box was a lot of like cardboard boxes, not much in the like revelio of what is inside. Oh my God, what have we got? I see some designs, okay. Oh! That is what I wanted. Okay, 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 okay. I will say somebody commented on our live streams that we were doing that everything in this box is good. So high stakes here, okay? Can you tell I'm a little excited? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I showed you, let's just do it, let's just do it. I'm gonna pull out the thing that I saw right away. I just love Hagrid. Okay. And it is what I was hoping for. I tell you, I did not take a peek at this box whatsoever. And it was hard. You guys not looking at the rest. You guys. Oh my God. We got him. We got him. Wizarding trunk. Wizarding trunk. Why do I feel like I'm going to cry? <laughs> Cause I've been doing so much crying playing Hogwarts legacy. Okay. <laughs> we got the oven mitts. I mean, are they the same exact pattern? Like they are jalapenos that are on his oven mitts and it's a similar color. It, I'm pretty sure it was checker, checkerboard look. Let me just freaking show you like what wizarding trunk? Excuse me, look. Now look, would a non Harry Potter person walking into the house see these and go, that's a little weird. Why do you have jalapeno oven mitts? because Hagrid wore them, okay? <laughs> That's why. Are you kidding me? Look at this, let me put them on. 
Oh yeah, they go well with my, I was going for like an earthy tone with this. Also, I've got some lantern earrings on right now. Yes, I'm sidetracking, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I got those at Fuego, um, cause they give me like, you know, lantern, Hagrid vibes. Look at this. We are gonna be doing some cooking videos in the future for sure. And I'm gonna be wearing these puppies. I'm so excited. I love a usable item and I love items that are like, this is Harry Potter, but a Harry Potter fan would know it, okay? We've talked about that before and I know y'all love that too. Oh my God, I'm pleased. Done, 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 I'm pleased. Okay, is it, a, again, is it a weird item? Yes, but not for a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody do that. Okay, ah! I saw another one. I need to calm it down right now, okay. Ah! Oh my God, okay. So we normally get pins in these boxes and one of the pins that they have been doing or the kind of pins they've been doing, which I will be honest, I haven't been loving. Um, Cause subscription boxes will often, there's a hair just floating around, will often um, kind of go with a thing, which is great because it helps with a collection if you want to build it up. Um, but if you're not loving it, and I'm loving this one, um, <clears throat> it might get old. Well, one of the things they've been doing are the portrait pins. And I was wondering, are they gonna do a Hagrid portrait pin? And they did. Let me show you, oh my God. Okay, before I, no, let me show you first. Let me show you first. It's a little dented, but just the backing, not the actual pin. Here we go. It is Hagrid, a portrait of Hagrid. Oh my God, here's close up. And we've got some like nice, um, I, I like the borders that they do. I didn't love the border on McGonagall, probably because it was copper, um, but I really like this one. And this one has like leaves on the corner. So cute. Now, what I will say about this one that feels different from the rest is I'm a person that really, really loves the actors that played those characters that we love so much. And so they are my vision. <laughs> and when I see, I mean, it's not that I don't have art prints that have different iterations, but it's like an adaptation I have to adjust to <laughs> when it's not like, you know, um, the actors that played them. But this one really, because they can't, they can't really do the likeness too much. This one really looks like him. This one really looks like him. I mean, it's got the outfit. It's got that like posture that he carries. And yeah, and I love the leaves. Okay, I don't do a chonky pin. Here's what I am thinking of doing with these, with this kind of pin, um, because I don't think I would hang it up. I might turn this into a magnet so you can kind of remove the, the, the pin aspect. Maybe some people are gonna come at me and go, oh my God, why would you do that? Uh, so I can have a portrait of Hagrid on my refrigerator. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. I will say there's normally two pins. I think I see another one. Should we just knock the pins out? Ooh, what is that? There's so many things. This is such an exciting box. Okay, let's just do the other pin. This is kind of like the last box where the other pin, it wasn't on a backing of any kind, um, but this sort of goes with the last box. Let me take it out. If you recall the last box, the bi-monthly one had a, um, like a groundskeeper's um, assistant shirt. Well, they gave us a groundskeeper's, here, let me hold it here and give you kind of an up close. A groundskeeper's assistant pin. It is a double um, backing pin. I mean, I think I enjoy that even more than the shirt. Um, although I really like the back of the shirt. Um, so there we go. So you can even like, I don't know if you'd wear it on that, but you could like have a cardigan and like wear it on that. So it's like a full outfit. I love cosplay. So that it's just giving me cosplay ideas. Ooh! What have we got? What have we got? What do we got? I don't know what to pick. Do we do a box? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four boxes, but I think I'm gonna go for the non-boxy things. And it's a tin. Oh. Okay, let me open this up. Cute. Okay, this is reminding me of another item. Let me pull it out real quick. I think this item may have come from Litjoy. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's the Dementor repellent kit, but it's a tin and I love a tin, but this one is giant pumpkin seeds as a little tin. So there's the top of it. And then the back, what does it say? Pumpkin spice tea, black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, 
elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. Here is the back of it. It's just, it's a little tin. A, oh my God, I love it. Let's open it up. It really is tea, you guys. Oh my God. Look at this tea. Wow, it is a strong smell. Hold on. Let me show it to you without tipping it over so you can see like the pumpkin seeds right here and the little apple or orange peel bits and apple. Oh, that's like a very like fall smell right there. And I'll love me some fall and winter time. I love that. I am so making some tea out of that. That is so cute and reusing that tin. Absolutely love it. Okay. I see what seems like a bottle um, and then also a key. Okay, that's confusing because there's two things that say keys. Do we do the key? I did say, okay, I said I wanted the oven mitts, but I also said I wanted a key to Hagrid's hut. And we are getting a box that is similar. It is moving around <laughs> um, to previous key boxes that we've got in the wizarding trunk. And it looks like this, like what else can it be other than Hagrid's hut? I can think of a couple other things. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh. Wait, is this like a key to Hogwarts? Cause we've got the hog with the wings on it, which we've been seeing a lot in Hogwarts Legacy. They are so cool. Here it is. It's a copper color. I will say I kind of expected a copper color. I mean, I don't think it's the key to his hut. Here, let me show it to you. Good God, Aubrey. Here it is, kind of from the side. And there is this little like charm on the side. Let me pull that back so you can see the hog that I'm talking about with those wings, that sort of iconic Hogwarts look to it. I will say if it was Hogwarts, I would have expected more of a gold bronzy color than copper. Um, but like the architecture kind of vibe we're getting from it feels like this is maybe a key to Hogwarts and not necessarily his hut. I don't think, I mean, or I mean, I think. We're gonna wait and see um, and get to the cheat sheet at the end to just sort of double check what this key is exactly, okay? He is the keeper of keys. I mean, you wouldn't have a key to Hogwarts. Ooh, that's light. Okay, do we go with more boxes? No, let's go with the things that we can see. And I'm seeing something in glass. <gasps> Ooh, let me open this. Oh, we have unicorn hair. I mean, let's hope, what does it say here? Collected after shed from an adult male unicorn. So basically saying this was like um, humanely acquired, which I appreciate because especially because Hagrid is an animal lover, just as I am, we don't want to hurt animals. So after her, after the unicorn has shed the hair, um, I will say this one is a very simplistic look to it. Does this open at all? Yeah, the top comes right out on this one because the wax seal is just, I don't know if that's the case for everybody's, but the wax seal is just on the cork, um, but the cork has a unicorn on it. The wax seal on the cork is a unicorn. It's a very silvery color, so it goes really well. As always, I love the labels that are done with these um, well, this one's not a potion. This would be a potion ingredient. And I like having a combination of potions and potion ingredients. I think the last one we got, um, the puffer fish eyeballs was a potion ingredient, you know, cause you need the ingredients in order to do the potion. Oh, well, and we know that he has a connection to unicorns. Okay. We have boxes. Let's do, mm, ah, let's do the, let's do this one. It's plain. At first I was thinking a mug but it's kind of light. It's moving around a bit. I'm gonna open it up and show you. See if you can see. I'm really digging this box so far. Styrofoam. She is a breakable item, methinks. What do we got, what do we got? It looks like an egg. Is this like the, um, this is the egg. Cause it was a coppery color like that Norbert came out of. And so here it is just a simple egg. 
I think I will say this. So it looks like it could work as like a little, um, what are those called? Like a paper stopper? Paperweight. <laughs> That's the word. There is some kind of like um, intentional wear to it where you see a little bit of the black underneath um, from like fire, that sort of thing. I do wish there was a little bit more detail to it. Um, otherwise, it's just the shape of it that screams egg because eggs normally have like texture uh, to them. I would have liked to see that. I might have to pull up the image and just kind of compare, you know, when he, when they're, when the egg is about to hatch. Cause I'm pretty sure that is the egg that we are trying to replicate here. Um, so it's not as strong a hit for me, um, but I like the reference. So next up we have, this says the keeper of your keys. Mm. And then we have this one. I don't know what to do first. The other one has a nice little design to it. Let's do this one. The keeper of your keys. How are you not keys? You know what I'm saying? What have we got? Or could it be like a key ring? It's a key ring. <laughs> it is a key ring. Okay. I had that feeling. I was like, oh, you know, so now all these keys that we are acquiring, we can hook on here. Let me show it to you. So it's just a wide key ring, which he does have. If you look on his belt loop, it is a very wide key ring with loads and loads of keys on it. So they're providing us with the hooks here so that we can attach the keys like we just got um, uh, all over the grounds because he is the keeper of keys and grounds. So now we have a way of keeping them in one spot is a great cosplay item too. Very simple, I will admit. Um, but because we were provided a key, we have something to attach to it. Okay, we have one last box and some paper products. Do we do the paper products first? No, we'll, we'll just keep the order that we normally do things in. So, what does it say? Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue. Here's the front of the box. And it's just like a little wood crate situation and kind of says the same thing on every side. A little light. I'm feeling styrofoam. I'm not feeling it, but I'm getting the sense of styrofoam. I am correct. We have styrofoam. Come on. Here we go. My guess is a statue of some kind because they've been running with those statues, which I'm, I'm really enjoying. What have we got? Watch the lighting just punch right up. Oh, it is a statue and it is a statue of Buckbeak. Oh, Buckbeak. Oh, look at you. Who doesn't love Buckbeak? Oh, you're so sweet. And the foot is up. I really like that. Um, I do have um, the Department 56 uh, with Hagrid and Buckbeak, and it's really cute. And I will say a touch more detailed than this one is. I wish the eyes were a bit better. They're, they're a little, um, I wouldn't say sloppy, but like, I feel like I'm a picky person. They lack the life a little bit of Buckbeak, but otherwise they've got the coloring down. I will say I would like to see, having, having now um, been playing Hogwarts Legacy, they put so much detail in the wings and color. So it's not just this kind of like, like one tone color. Um, we have a, a different little shade on top of the grass there. We got a bit of like brownie, coppery color, but you know, it's Buckbeak, just like, just chilling. So if you had a Hagrid statue and there are some out there, um, and figure that would probably be a good size to pair with this Buckbeak. I was right. It was a statue. Ha ha ha. Okay. Next up is another item they have been going with, and that is the magical, cause we're on the paper products now, the magical creatures, the A to Z page. Um, I have not been collecting all of the pages cause I haven't been subscribed for that long, but I do have a few. And so now I have, and there's one on either side, the Kelpie right here. So there's that page. I really like these. And what's on the back, the Kraken. Release the Kraken. I really like um, using these more for like photos or just feeling like they're just laying around the house and just give more of a, um, just a magical feel to my house. Ooh, we have their edition. Okay, let me flip this over because I don't want to see what the other thing is of the Enchanter. Um, their magazine that they come out with 
And we got one, not in the last box, but the previous box. This is issue 1808. 18063 numbers upgrade <laughs> February 2023. I really love the way these these are done. And it says, well, let me show it to you first. Here is the cover of the Enchanter. There's so much detail done on these because they are proper magazines. Like there there's the every page is filled out. What have we got? Poisonous plants and where to find them? <laughs> um mountain giants. I was hoping to see a reference to Giants. I will say I was hoping for something else with, with Giants, but I dig this. Oh, Mountain Giants Misunderstood. Hippogriff Rescue Center. Oh my god. Um, Extract Giant Spider Venom. So here, let me show you. This is what the inside looks like. Every page is filled out. It's also interactive. You can do these puzzles. Oh my god. And this one is very themed to rock cakes rock cakes you guys bottle banter how to extract giant spider venom so there's a whole issue on how to attract how to extract it hopefully it's ethically i'm not sure how you would ethically do that um exclusive mountain giants misunderstood so again everything on the front has an issue inside has an article inside to read about read all about it hippogriff rescue center you can read about it i just dig that I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Yeah, Lucky Runes. Here we go. And then um, Credits, Classified, and then that is the back. And it looks just as if it was a magazine, like especially old school, and you would just cut out a piece there. So I see the... the um, spoiler <laughs> but there's one more bit what have we got oh wait there's two more bits oh i think this is a recipe which makes sense and they are rock cakes we've got a recipe for rock cakes i will be altering this recipe because i am plant-based um but that's no begging easy peasy we've got a recipe for rock cakes i dig it we've got a few recipe cards so far we got one um in the um like weasley box and then I think we have a print. Oh my God. Oh, I really like this. I have seen in previous subscription boxes, illustrations like this. So I thinking, I, I'm I, I thinking, I am thinking they're keeping with the same illustrator and it is inside Hagrid's hut with a view of Buckbeak. So we've got Buckbeak over here. What else do we see? So we've got the egg there. There we go, fitting it all in. We got them oven mitts there. Look at them. Oh my gosh, any other little references that they did. I dig it. I love the warmth of this one. Very, very cute. I might put this up at my muggle job. We got some garlic hanging. So, so cute. Oh, there's the pumpkin um, right here. I love that they put the stuff inside. Um, which, you know, would have been in there. So there you go. <laughs> so we have a print. I like seeing prints. Um, with some of these paper products, I've been wanting to see more prints, um, like this to hang up. I love it. So let's look at the spoiler card. I think the thing I'm looking for in the spoiler card really is just to double check with this key. There hasn't been anything that's like a reference that is like hard to pick up on. Um, so what do we got? The creature page. We know that, uh, dragon egg handling oven mitts so they go hand in hand obviously because he was wearing the oven mitts the oven mitts like <laughs> anti words when i record this these oven mitts are perfect for taking hot items out of your cauldron or the oven but you should probably get it out before it hatches that is cute i mean you know it is a great prop that could be really good for like halloween time or well just any time okay dragon's egg we know what that is. I don't think there's anything else in there. Portrait pin, the gate keys, this key topped with a winged boar. Um, I keep calling it a whore, a, a whoa, Aubrey, <laughs> a hog. <laughs> uh, we've been, we've been saying nargles every time Aubrey goes to say another bad word. Nargles. <laughs> we'll get you into the gates. The padlock for the gate has been shrunk to fit into your pocket. Should you need to lock the gate, simply enlarge the padlock. So it's to the gate. It's to the to the Hogwarts Hogwarts gate. Hogwarts grounds gate. I will say I I would have let me know if they have done this before and that's why they're doing the gate. I would have preferred Hagrid's hut. Give me Hagrid's hut the key. Um, unless this was an add-on and I missed that, I would love to see that. 
Um, rock cakes recipe. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the hippogriff, this beautiful creature, is very proud, but easily offended. Take care when approaching, of course. The enchanter, uh, we saw that. Groundskeeper assistant pin. If you don't have your groundskeeper shirt handy, which we got last time, wear this pin. Or you can wear the pin, like I said, on a cardigan. I feel like um, like a beige cardigan would go well, or a cream one would go well with the beige, and then it would contrast well. I don't know, or black. I like black, if you can't tell. And giant pumpkin seeds. I really dug that. Gosh, okay, let me take a quick look and see what my favorite items were in this box. Okay, hands down number one, oven mitts. Oven mitts, keeping them, yep. I have Hagrid's oven mitts. And I think with the oven mitts, I'm coming around to the egg. I just wish there was more detail to it. I was hoping for a dragon of some kind. I have seen some um, like older versions of Norbert that are really cute, like um, made a while back, I think licensed. I'm not sure. Um, and love, love, love this giant pumpkin seed tea business going on there. I'm going to make some tea and I'm going to reuse this puppy. I really like that the portrait pin just, I, it really looks like him. It really looks like him. And I like having, again, I would have preferred to have Hagrid's hut key, but I do like having um, the key hook. So if ever I want to dress up as Hagrid, because yes, I could do that. Okay. Um, I can use that key hook and I like this enchanter edition. I really like the enchanter um, and what else? I like the unicorn hair. I think I wish there was a little bit more going on or maybe that the wax came down some, but I like having, um, ingredients and not just potions. And this is a much different ingredient, albeit quite simple. Um, but does the trick it has even a little sparkle to it. So there you go. I think those are my favorite items. I mean, I literally got one that I wanted and I said at the start. So let me know down below. What were your favorite items? Were you as thrilled with this box as I think I was um, and am? <laughs> it's not past yet. <laughs> and remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything that you have, including Hagrid and all of his magical creatures. And uh, keep making magic. And I'll see you next time. Bye.